Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to draw arcs in AutoCAD. It's one of the basic functions found in the draw box in the home tab. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do when it comes to drawing an arc <clears throat> is we want to find the arc itself, the arc button. So the arc button is located next to the circle button in the draw box in the home tab right up here. And we are going to see that you can click on the main arc or the one you have selected, pre-selected. And then there's a drop-down list. And in this drop-down list, there are a ton of different ways that you can draw an arc. So different configurations, different formats. You can do a three-point. You can even do a continuous arc. <clears throat> but for right now, for this example, and the most the basic form of it, we're going to look at the three-point arc, which is right here. So with the three-point arc, it's very simple. And before we get into this, too, I want to explain that at a lot of times, you're going to want to use a circle function and the trim function to get the specific um, sized arc that you want around a certain shape and that allows you to create an easier radius it allows you to kind of just make things more precise and accurate for what you're doing but anyways for this three-point arc it's really simple all you're gonna do is once you've clicked the button you come down and you have three points of contact so right here we've got the first point left click second point we'll make right here and then the third point we'll make right here and the measurements on that are a straight line point to point so we'll do that again right here we have we'll call it three units three inches right there that's our first point and then we'll go over to five inches at 30 degrees for the angle so Again, very easy. Now where this becomes practical is if you have, we'll give an example of three lines here. We'll go two, one, and we'll go right here. So for these three lines, we want to create an arc that touches all of them. So I'm going to go up to arc, since there's three points, we're going to go right here, left click, second point right here, left click, third point right there. Alright, so for the next option, we have the arcs that use the start, then center function. So, these are somewhat useful when you have a center that you want to start, or a start point, then a center point, and then a place you want to end, you want to do the length, or you want to do the angle. So, for example, we'll go right here, start, center, end. So, we're going to start, this is our center, and this is where we are going to end. So, it's a little bit opposite but it allows us to create a start point, an end point, and a center point. So another example would be this start center angle. It allows us to go from the start point right here, center point, and then angle it, which will allow us to, well, that's the angle, but finish it out if you would like. The last one is start center length. So here we'll start right here. We've got the center, and then we will go length. So again, it's hidden in this line right here, but it allows you to go from a starting point, if you have a center point, and then loop it around to the end point. All right, so for our next type of arcs, we're going to go back up to the arc box itself, and we're going to see that you have start and end. This does not rely on a center point this time, but it's going to be a start end angle, start end direction, and start end radius. So for example, this one, the start end angle we'll start with. We're going to go right here, and it's going to ask us to have a starting point ready. We're going to click left for start. And then we're going to end right here. And as you can see, there's no midpoint. Again, we are not relying on the center. So you can kind of end it wherever you want. You can either type the angle in, or you can just click when you're good. So for example, right there. We're going to erase that one. We're going to go back up and we're going to go start end direction. This one's a little bit different, but again, they're all very basic in the function they serve. So for the start, we're going to go right here. We're going to end it right here. And I can drag this angle out to a couple different um, kind of sizes. And it gets to bigger angles and creates bigger arcs, right? So right here, we're good. We're going to left hand click and there we go. I ended that arc. The last one we're going to do is the start end radius. So this allows me to click a start point, an end point, 
and then say I want a specific radius of, I don't know, we'll say 2, 2 inches. Enter, and there we go. It's giving me a radius of 2 inches for my start and end. So, again, this serves a specific pur purpose as well, but it does not rely on a center point. All right, so the next type of or style of arc we're going to go over is actually the center start arc. So this, instead of starting at a start point and going to a center end, we're going to start at the center and go to a start point, and then the end, the center start angle, and center start length. So, for example, we'll, let's go to center start end, and this will allow us to click the center first, of the object we're trying to build an arc around, go to the end, and then go to the start right there. So it allows us to create a nice little arc that's pretty easy. We'll erase that, and then let's try the center start angle. So we're gonna go center, start, and then it gives us the option to create an angle. So this is gonna be 43 degrees right there, half angle, you can go up here, but again, allows us to pretty much do the same thing as the previous example except add an angle in and then the center start length so this is going to be center right here we're going to left click start right there and then you have the length so i can kind of go however long i want to we'll just go right here for this example so we're going to erase that <clears throat> again very niche type um kind of objects you're going to be using these for but they do come in handy when you need them. Alright, so there is one final arc that we want to go over, and this one is uh, semi-useful. I would say it's a little bit more useful than the other ones, but again, you have to be in a specific situation to use it. But the last type of arc that we want to go over is the continuous arc. So for this one, it allows you to start an arc, then go to the next end point. So you have a start point, you have an end point, like this. And if we continue it, we'll press the button again. It continues right on. So it's going to start, stop, and then we're going to go back up, press it again, and it's going to go right from the last point that you stopped the last arc on. So this kind of can allow you to create some funky shapes, but again, very useful, kind of fun to mess around with, and more of a free draw type environment with this. Alright, so that was a pretty high level overview of all the different options you have when it comes to creating arcs. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you thought it was helpful. Um, but past that, I hope everyone found the video helpful, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.